You run an inconvenient store, what do you sell? We have everything, just not the brand your spouse was expecting. Any clear liquid you could possibly ever need. Water, rum, vinegar, brake cleaner, you name it. All on the same shelf, all in identical plastic bottles, all unlabeled. You open it, you buy it. I'm a regular convenience store, but I can only do one item per transaction. The process must be restarted for every item and you must pay individually for the items. It's not what I sell, it's when I'm open, Tuesday to Friday from 9am to 10.30am. Earbuds but they are at the stage where they only work at a certain angle. AA batteries, but with a strict limit of one battery per customer. Everything but there's a wait list, and you have to sign up on our website with a very very convoluted sign up process. Back pain medication is on the bottle shelf, and shoved all the way in the back. A toothbrush with bristles that break and toilet paper that falls apart when you wipe. Tickets to shows, but only in weird numbers, either you buy 3 adult, 4 senior citizen and 2 kid tickets or you don't buy it at all. Open bags of snacks. Last week's newspapers. Expired condoms. Erasers that smear. Solar powered flashlight, but doesn't hold the charge and only works in direct sunlight. I used to own this. Why does this thread feel like we're describing the quickie mart? Hot dogs in 12 packs and buns in 10 packs. Food that is always one day away from expiring. Also there will literally be no price tags anywhere, so you have no idea what you are going to pay. Earrings with no backs to them. High demand items, but wrapped in ridiculously complex packaging. Individually packed M&MS. Sugar free Herevison beer that's been sitting in the sun for no less than 3 days stored in a room temperature beer cave. Aluminum foil that barely has enough to cover a baking sheet, but the last part is glued to the tube so just kidding there's not enough. Half charged batteries. Warm beer. Phone cards for every carrier but yours. Gum that's kind of hard and stale. I sell scratch off tickets to 50 to 70 year old customers. They have to buy a minimum of 20 tickets and scratch them all off at the register, while the rest of the line waits. If you came in to buy milk, or pay for your gas, you're fucked. Keyboards that have the M and M key switched. Rice individually wrapped in heavy duty plastic. Liquor and alcohol bottles with plastic clam shell casing. Single sheets of toilet paper limit one per transaction. We sell everything, except it's all out in the warehouse and you have to ask an employee to get it for you. Tape wound around the roll sticky side up, so it's ruined, before you ever get it off the roll. A keychain that shuffles your key's location. Glue that has dried, glue at the opening. Used paper, single paper clips, stickers that didn't stick, rat poop, useless wrappers, expired coupons, the Cayman energy cards, people. Trash bags that are too small for a regular trash can, but too big for a small trash can. Dead batteries, but they are free of charge. Applebee's gift cards. Cans of soda with no aluminum tabs on them. Everything packaged or bottled in the store is impossible to open until you hand it to someone else. They open it effortless. Freshly baked muffins, but without the muffin tops. Mints and laxatives that look exactly the same. Scissors in clamshell packaging. Everything a convenience store sells, but when a car pulls up we lock the doors and mop the floors. Coming from a closed circle K in Edmond, Oklahoma. Left-handed scissors only. Tables with uneven leg lengths. Tire grease. To help with that friction. Chapstick where the tube is worn down all the time. Empty ketchup bottles that are as heavy as full ketchup bottles. Debt. Everything except what you need. Used men's underwear. Bright sparky noisy cheap toys that also glitter bomb the heck out of anything near them for days. The car the house, you, your dog, the neighbor's cat. Greeting slash holiday cards either incorrectly sized envelopes or no envelopes at all. Nothing. But you don't find out until waiting in line for 45 minutes. Nothing at all, but the shop is prime real estate. Fake mobile adx buttons that are wired to take the victim to the app store. Individually wrapped potato chips. Expired hot dogs, wait. Scissors in a package, that can only be opened with that brand of scissors. 
gift cards that can only be purchased by the same kind of gift card. Asterisk lukewarm coffee asterisk packages of cookies containing only broken ones asterisk packs of rubber bands that break when stretched asterisk doll razors asterisk tape that has lost its sticky. Candy medicine, medicine looking boxes, but it's actually candy, UHH. Sweats and deodorant, always wet towels, empty batteries. Every single item plays card EB, when you open it. Tobacco plants. I sell anything you could ever want, but everything is inconveniently packaged in the thick, stubby clamshell plastic packaging that we all know and love. Only left shoes. I don't know, but in the back I'd have an ATM, that writes you a check. Can I sell a $5 bill for $5 with tax? Live chickens. Thoughts and prayers. Dull blades. All of the same things as a convenience store, but I'm 80 miles from the nearest house. AAAAAA batteries. Pockets that are just too shallow for anything meaningful. All the normal items, but the automatic doors open really slowly, close super quickly, the sensor is very finicky, and doesn't pick you up well. Underwear with ass sweat stains. Lotto scratch off tickets, that the purchaser must scratch, before stepping away from the counter. Oh wait, that already exists, it's the quickie stop, and shop up the road. Tickets for items you can pick up 10 blocks away once you call an automated system and schedule an appointment. A nutritional manual for all the crap I sell. Fountain drinks only in small and no straws. Scissors, but they're in that plastic packaging, that requires scissors to open. Diabetic cats. Coffee bud cups and coffee are opposite ends of the shop with the ice coffee boiling hot and the hot coffee or ice block. You have to wait for the freezer or microwave to heat, or cool it down. Off-brand and crappy electronics, stale food, and composite video cables. Fat-free bacon. Children. Everything a normal convenience store sell, but it's located on the moon. Genuine apple earbuds, but I sell them in that stage, where one earbud is dead and the other one is really quiet, don't y'all pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. 5 day old microwaved bacon eggs and cheese croissant and lukewarm coffee. No monsters or Red Bull just those nasty ass rockster drinks and they're all sugar free with shitty sugar replacements. Hot dogs but never have buns. Those horrendous cheap lighters that never seem to work after the one time it works, when he shows you.